Hello, Dean. Uh, how do you feel uh, after the last America's Cup? Um, oh, it was uh, still very disappointing not to, to win, but um, having been so close, and, uh, and you quite often reflect on um, things that could have been different, but uh, life moves on and we have to face uh, the next challenge, which is um, looks like 2017, and uh, we still have to find out where, but the AC62 and 72 and a few more changes, but very exciting times ahead. Oh, no, I don't think it's psychological. We we started the event um, very strong, and then they they uh, obviously were making a lot of mistakes at the beginning, and then by the end they were faster than us. Um, you know, we started faster, and they finished faster, and it's um, they learned how to fall upwind, and it was very very difficult because you know we had races uh, where the time limit ran out, and uh, where it was above the wind limit when we were leading, and it's. Um, yeah, felt like we had opportunities which um, were a little bit cruel sometimes. Yeah, it is a hard to think. Um, you know, when you put everything into it uh, and you believe that you have a very good chance to win, it's, um, it is hard when you don't. So, uh, But you have to use those lessons and um, use it as motivation for the, you know, for the future to try and do a better job. What's news about the next uh, challenge? Uh, well, the intention is to challenge, but we have to still find the the, the money to, to do it properly and, and so we you know a lot lot of work to do to find the sponsors and uh, um, put together a full budget so we can um, not only compete but give ourselves a chance to win so it's um, yeah it's a big big job ahead but um, we still need a venue uh, before we can confirm our sponsorship the money won't be certain until we have a venue and we can go to the sponsors and see if they want to, uh, to, to definitely be involved but we have um, confidence that uh, that we should be able to uh, fund the team eventually. And um, what is your w relation with uh, Grant? Um, I have a very good relationship with Grant, and uh, you know, he, he has a fantastic job raising the uh, raising the money. And um, you know, it's not an easy job. Um, and there'll be some changes in the team this time from what we had last time. So yeah, it's it's an interesting time, but uh, yeah, a lot of work to do still. And you prefer Grant to Brad? There's been a lot of discussion. Um, you know, we've got a new uh, new board in place, which um, has evaluated all the different um, options and, and done a review and things. So, uh, yeah, I think the, the structure that we're going to have is going to be very strong. We've uh, retained a lot of the key guys from the previous campaign. Um, you know, some of the you know, probably two or three people that have gone to work for other teams already, but it's part of the game. You know, we've got a couple of people from Oracle that used to um, work there and, uh, and so that makes us stronger. Uh, Luna Rossa has some, they've employed a lot of people from Oracle. So the, I think this time we're going to see a much more uh, level um, design group you know, across the, the board but I'm very happy with the people we have in our design team. Do you prefer to have a, a second boat? I think it's, um, it's difficult because with only one boat, if you have any mistakes, if you have a breakage, um, you do some damage to your first boat. Uh, uh, you know, it could be the end of your um, end of your team because it's um, maybe the time needed to repair if you capsize like Oracle did with their first boat. So you're going to have to be very, very careful how you manage it. Uh, not